All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I got a special item to show you guys. This is from a company called Fang Shuang. They uh, reached out to me to see if I would like to cover their two terabyte SSD for PC, PlayStation, and, um, and other, uh, anything else that you can use an M.2 for it. This one here is a Gen 4, so um, it does have that it's supposed to be at least compatible with PlayStation 5. Now, when I was looking on the when I was looking on the information, it says that the uh, write speed is like four. It, it's kind of covered up with stickers, guys, so I can't really see from the box. But from what I was looking at online, it was um, it was like four thousand or something like that. So overall. We're gonna check compatibility with PlayStation 5. That's that's what I was like. Yeah, dude, send it out to me. I'll stick it in the PS5 because um, I don't. I I, I took my uh, my Samsung 980 Pro out of there and threw that in the PC a while back. But Feng Shuang, Feng Shuang um, the, yeah, these guys reached out to me. They do have other models. I actually was looking at them and I and I and I kind of asked the guy. You know, I was like, hey man, you guys got that four terabyte with the with the heat sink on it? It's like 260 bucks. I was like. Maybe send me that one out. Let me let me test that one. And um, uh, he said that he said that he'll send that out next month. So we'll go ahead and we'll check this out and we'll see what we'll see how good it is. Um, we'll see what our read write speed is over on the PlayStation Five. Um, I'm not going to rip my PC apart to stick it in there. But all right, let's let's look in here. You, obviously, you get the little cover for that. Um, it does come with a package screw and a little screwdriver so that you can put that in there. Um, you'll be able to, but your PlayStation 5 already has that. I think these were retailing for like 89 bucks over on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description for you if this is something that you guys are interested in picking up. Um, for, for a two terabyte SSD, that's, I paid $400 for the 980 Pro when that came out. Um, it does look like it's got that NAND flash on there. Um, looks like it's pretty consistent with, with all the other, um, m.2 ssds that i've that i've had the uh, the opportunity to use Ooh. and then we just throw it on the ground <clears throat> it looks like it's yeah i mean it's it looks pretty pretty decent like the construction on that and everything um let's see if i can get it to uh focus right there um overall nice looking design doesn't look bad but yeah guys i'll get this thrown in the playstation 5 and uh we'll we'll uh we'll see what the read speed is together we'll see in just a second all right, my friends, we are back. Let's go ahead and uh, install the Fensing Fen Fen SSD into our PS5, hook it up, and then we will test and see exactly what type of a speed we are going to get with this. So, like I said earlier, I had already pulled out my Samsung 980 Pro and stuck that into my PC. So my ssd bay is 100 percent empty Oop! i need the different i need the uh p3 for this bad boy or p1 phillips head number one it's number one number one we'll take this off and then we will pull out the ssd i put it back in the box because um i was having to go to the store just soon you know what let's see if this little screwdriver will fit that screw boop i wanted to try to do this so that you guys could see exactly what was going on I'll give you guys a look behind my my setup oh all right and then we will take our ssd and then oop, our ssd let me give you one more shot about that before i stick it in there you're gonna to wanna to kind of go in at an angle, plop down. I know you guys are smart. You guys are such smarty pants. You guys know how to do this. I don't need to tell you how to, I don't need to tell you how to freaking install an SSD into your PlayStation 5. Wait, where's that little screwdriver at? Oh, it's right there. Gotta get her lined up nice and good. And this is the uh, the biggest drive, oh, almost the biggest drive that you can fit in here. It looks like there's one bigger that you could actually get in there too, one size higher. So there we go. There's that. Let's go ahead. I'm not putting a heat sink on this. Um, I don't necessarily think it was necessary. 
I mean, I do have a heat sink somewhere, but I do not know where it was. I actually bent my little tray cover huh, from the first heat sink that I bought because it was all huge and everything. So I just, at this point, guys, <sighs> with getting a new PS5 soon, we'll uh, we'll just check this out like this. So we've got her in there, got it all freaking covered back up. Let's go ahead and stick the cover back on. See, I got one of them fancy PS5s with the disc drive in it. Pop. We'll put that back on. And then, guys, I want to show you this, man. So a company called Yogi's, they sent this bad boy out to me. This is, this is a freaking stand for your PS5. And uh, it's got dual freaking controllers. Uh, you plug this into the back of your PS5 and then it'll tell you what the temperature of your PS5, it'll measure the internals of it. Uh, this thing is pretty cool, man. I actually, I've actually been, I've actually been really liking this. It comes with its own little screw. It's got this rubber freaking gasket right here to kind of keep the air blowing up in through your PlayStation, kind of helping it vent more. Um, it definitely keeps the PS5 um, cooler. And then it fits nice and snug right in there. And it actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, my PlayStation 5 looks kind of funky because I got stickers and stuff on it. Because I'm five, and I like to put stickers on everything. And then just with like your PlayStation, you screw this bad boy into the bottom, and then you go ahead and plug your little thing into it, and then it'll charge two controllers. And then it's even got like a little rack so you can, so you can put some games on there and stuff. Like this will hold some of your games. So that's pretty cool. I, li I like that. You know, I like the I like the design of these types of things. You know, if you're gonna spend $30 for a stand, it might as well have some freaking, it might as well have some functionality to it. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this Yogi's too, if you have one of these older PlayStation 5s. It only works on, it only works on the disk drive one, guys. So here, I'll plug it in so you guys can see that too, because we're not gonna, so. And then you just hit the power button. And it sh oh, hold on. We got to get this over here. It shall come on. Uh, if I do this, PS5. Let me see, you guys should be able to see that now. Should come on in just a second. So it's going to repair the storage. Oh, I just, I just unplugged it before I freaking put it in there. So we'll see how this thing looks with it on there. Oh, I'm gonna need a troller. Let me grab my dual sense edge. Dual sense edge. The moment we've all been waiting for. And then we're gonna transfer a bunch of, we're gonna transfer all my games from the in, Format, uh, let's turn on my PlayStation controller. Format SSD. Format, do not turn it off. Boom, read speed. Oh, look at that, it's advertised as four, but we're getting 5238. So that's almost as, it's almost as fast as the PS5 SSD. So I think we'll actually be fine. I mean, Digital Foundry, it did tests and showing that like your format, okay, so, okay. Rebuilding database, switch to another network. We're getting in. Now we're going to go ahead and go on settings, storage, console storage. Uh, select items to move, select all, and then we'll see how fast this bad boy moves. I won't speed up the time or anything, guys. We can we can just watch and see how fast this thing's gonna go. Dude, if that was gonna be 84 minutes, then I would have been like, yeah, we're gonna speed that up. We're gonna speed that up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer everything and then we're gonna jump into a game. Um, I've got like Spider-Man and um, I, I've, I've got some stuff downloaded to where we can actually do that. I'm gonna actually download a bunch of my games again now that I've got this. And we'll 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 run some of these games, and we'll see how they we'll see how they. Uh, can you guys see that? Let me make sure I'm like focused on the screen.
I mean, four minutes to transfer almost 600 gigs, that's not bad. Like I had my PS5 basically full. So this is kind of good to get all that off that internal memory. I mean, you could you could easily use a GP or, or, or an SSD like this. I mean, for under a hundred bucks, guys, you could use this and store all of like your, your, your games that like don't necessarily need fast storage. But if you've got a game that has like, like instant freaking like instant load, put those games on your internal and then keep the ones that you don't necessarily need extra fast SSD or, you know, mix and match, see, see what you want. But a hundred under a hundred bucks for freaking two terabytes. That is, that's a good price. And if it works, yeah, dude, I don't see why 53 or 52 or whatever. That's actually pretty fast. I think I was getting, uh, I think I was getting like 60 or 58 or something off the Samsung 980 Pro and I paid 400 bucks for that two terabyte. So like this is not that bad actually. I was I was expecting like 4,000. I was gonna be like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna say or you know how I'm gonna show people that. But yeah, that actually surprised the heck out of me. For 53, that's, that's actually pretty dang close to, to the standard PS5 SSD. So I don't think this is gonna be a problem at all. Honestly, I think it'll be I think it'll I think it'll hold up just fine and be be ultra fast. I mean, especially once you start getting them like pretty full though, that's when they start to slow down a little bit, but I figure with this for under 100 bucks, like you really can't go wrong with something like that. Like this thing's moving around moving along pretty quick. And then we'll see how fast Spider-Man loads into it. Pay station, pay station. Dang, I love my pay station. A freaking dual sense edge. I love this troller. This thing is so nice. I like how premium it feels. I think this right here was like the first like real cool thing about PlayStation 5 this generation I really liked was that dual sense edge. I like the roundedness down here. I love how it like hugs my fingers and stuff. And it just it feels sleeker, nicer and sleeker. So yeah, if you guys get an opportunity, you want to get into that, and then you can map your back buttons and stuff. Uh, no, I don't know why it did that. Oh, I think I accidentally pushed that button. Sorry, guys. Ah, that's pretty dang fast. That's 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 about average speed. That's that's about what it took last time I did this with the 980 Pro. I think you can go back and like watch that video, and I think I think the times will line up pretty close. I mean, that was like three years ago though I can't believe how long it took them just to even open up the bay so that we could use these things man that was that was crazy and we had to go through a whole naming fiasco and everything and and then just come to find out that you could basically use anything boom everything's loaded now it's all on that other card and we will um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install location and we're gonna be right there okay we're good now so it's gonna change that oh look I put this game in the thing a long time ago all right so spider-man 2 let's see how long it takes to load this bad boy in Let's see how fast she is. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good.
Okay, so now let's try this. Boom. Let's just see how fast we can get her switching around. Get her all warmed up and moving through some games. Oh gosh, I can't wait to see what this looks like I'm on PS5 Pro next month. I came from that way. Okay. Try one more game and then we'll see. And then I'll download some more stuff on here too. And you know, obviously I'll do a follow up, you know, if something happens, but yeah, I don't see any problem with this whatsoever. Like this is, this is perfectly fine. Do, 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 do. No, we're not going to have internet, Mr. Gran Turismo. It did this to me the other freaking day, too. Like, it better not have the servers better not be down right now. I'll be freaking upset. See how long it takes to get in there. Shit, dude, this is great. We're already freaking in. Oh. Oh, man. I'm not used to driving on a freaking controller anymore. So my friends, yeah, um, I'm not seeing an issue with it. Like the fan, fan, fencing, fencing. So yeah, guys, um, they sent it out to me. They told me to, you know, give it a, give it a try. And you know, I, I was like, all right, cool. Let's check it out. So I got a, I got an SSD for my, my PS2 or PS4 and I get a, or PS5 and I get to show you guys what, what's up with it. It looks like it's working just fine to me. I wouldn't, I, I don't think you'd be any none the wiser to, to any more expensive brands or anything like that. Um, obviously it works and it's working fine. I, I, I transferred all my games. All of them are loading up just as fast. You know, it, it feels like they're just as fast and snappy as they used to be. Um, so yeah, dude, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't necessarily see an issue with it, but yeah, guys, definitely I'll be updating you. I will be using this exclusively in the PlayStation 5. Um, I, uh, I'm going to be doing like some, uh, Gran Turismo videos a lot more lately now that I got the, uh, now that I got the trusty thrusty. Uh, yeah, dude, this is awesome, man. Thank you, Fen, Fen Ching, Fen Ching. I, th I hope I'm saying that right. Um, um, thank you guys for sending this out to me. It looks like it works pretty great. I'm honored to show this to my community and, uh, see if they are interested in something like this. So I'll get, I'll get you guys a link in the description. I'll put a, 
I'll put a, lo a link for the yogis if I can if I can find it. I think I think I can find it. Um, like I said, that's just for the old style PlayStation fives. Um, the new slim models are not going to work with it. So I'll definitely throw some I'll, I'll throw some cool links in there. So all right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.